Good afternoon, this is Yilda, children's librarian over at the Gulfport Public Library, and this is Early Literacy Tuesday Tip. As many of you have noticed, I have been posting a couple of days at a time or weeks at a time some early literacy tips. Today I decided to do a short little video explaining a tip that I'm sharing today, which is called Fishing for Words. As you see on the table, I have a bunch of fish with words on them. Now, these are words that your children will learn and should know, at least have idea of once they enter preschool. So these are basically words that are fundamentally important for them. Um, like for example, cat and, you know, dog, and you have the weather, which is rain, which remember I've shared, I did a video on weather not so long ago. Um, days of the week, um, you also have the seasons, for example, summer, um, and then you have direction, up, and then you have down. You also have the months, I'm sorry, the month. Um, so it's a bunch of random words as I have here. Now the idea is fishing game or fishing for words. As you see, I have a magnet glued onto the fish and I laminate it. Um, and I have, you can get a piece of string, a twine, yarn, or what I used here was one of these, um, cabinet liners, a plastic roll liner, and I just cut it and I made it into a, a makeshift string. If you have paper clips you, or, um, safety pins, you can use, if you don't have that, you can use tape, put tape on the fish and tape on the end of the string and tie the string to a type of stick of some sort to make it like a fishing rod. Um, if you have a toy fishing rod, that's great. If you don't, you can easy, you can, you can make this from anything that you have in your home um, and it's not expensive, very easy to do. So the idea is that your child, you will have these fish. I have them on a table as I'm sitting, but you can have them on a box, on the floor. Um, and your child will come over with their little fishing rod and try to pick up a fish. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I have that works. So they pick it up um, and you read the word to your child. Oh, this is the word up. And you spell the word out for the child. You P up. This is up. Can you say up? And have your child pronounce the word, have your child understand what the word is and how it's spelled. I also have um, sheets that I, I will be attaching a PDF file on these fish that you can print out yourself and have at home. Um, I'm also attaching a PDF file on the list of words. For example, here is um, the list, fishing for words list, as you see, all the different words. Again, as I said, these are some of the, the words that they will be learning in preschool and it's good if they know at least have an idea of them before going to preschool um because these are the foundational words that they start off with and then of course they build from there but at least if they understand these words you can have your child fish for the word have one word print it or you write it on a piece of sheet on a piece of paper or anything you have or have this list however you wish you want to do it um, and have your child try to, um, I have one here, have your child, if your child, for example, picked up winter, oh, this is the word winter, winter, W starts, winter starts with the word, the letter W, I'm sorry. So you have your child say, okay, let's find the word winter. Let's see, can you help me find the word winter? So your child will walk over to the list and find, or your word that's written on a, on a sheet of paper, and they'll try to match the word winter the fish winter with the word winter. Um, so you can make a whole game out of this. You can do this um, five minutes at a time, one minute. As I said, you know your child best. You know what works for your child. If your child is done after a minute, that's fine. Do not force your child to continue the game. You can pick it up another time. Um, this is something basic. I have done this with my early literacy program in New York. Um, it at the library in New York 
And I, it has been, you know, it's been great. The kids love it. The parents even love it. And I've even shared this with them as well. So I wanted to bring this here and share it with you all here. Um, please take advantage of all the resources and information I, I share with you. I will be sharing some other Tuesday tips in the next Tuesdays to come. Uh, I will try to get it every Tuesday. But if not, it will be every Tuesday, every other Tuesday. But I will make it my mission to share every Tuesday a early literacy tip of some kind that you can do with your children. And I, once we open back again at the library, I will be doing these kinds of activities at the library as well. I will be having early literacy programs. Um, and I encourage you all to participate or if you know anyone that's interested, can um, sign up and participate in the early literacy program. This is a great program that will help your child be ready for school, um, develop your child's skills. And also additionally, um, which I, I forgot to mention, with as far as doing this fishing game, not only are you doing early literacy, you're also helping with your child's hand-eye coordination and concentration, um, which is also very, very important that your child understands and concentrates because of course obviously when they're in school they have to be focused in school so this will help them with their focus as well um you can make it as a game and also you can try this on a rainy day if you want and additionally you can change it up you don't have to do words you can do shapes you can draw a shape on the fish you can, um, the alphabet, you can print out a bunch and have each fish a letter of the alphabet. I mean, it, the numbers, it's the, po the possibilities are endless with this fishing game. So this is just one idea that you can have um, that I'm sharing with you, but the, the possibilities are endless. The whole point again is to get your child engaged, to get your child learning and prepare for school. So again, parents, I hope this little tip has helped you in some sort of way please take advantage of what i'm sharing with you and again please remember parents you are your child's first teacher and your child will always remember all the times they've had learning and enjoying their time with you so be safe be well everyone take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time bye bye